sunrise ought to be over there. But the clear spots in the sky is there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, happy wet Monday. Um, just almost an inch of rain in the last 24 hours. <clears throat> and yes, I sound like crap. Hopefully I don't get much worse than this, because if I do then it's not going to be a good thing. And yeah, a lot of water came into here. Does that when it blows and it rains hard. I figured, well, well, he had to stop for a pit stop. Maybe he won't be letting the girls out of the barn. Because they got the middle feeder empty. This one down pretty good. The other one can't have much in it. Got the younger cows over here. Blue. Blue. Come down to this, yeah. Easy. And look at that. He can do it from this side of the gate. But he's going to go in and get full of shit anyway. Red. And he's not even running. Huh? He's that far behind him. He's going to run right past him. And just like that. And I'm, you know, figuring there wasn't any other cows in here because, well, nobody was laying down that I could see. Probably should try to clean this today because that's getting pretty mucky. And when it's mucky over here, it gets really bad. I get this post and at that next post. And it's easier to clean when the feeders are either empty or almost empty. So, that's going to be part of the plan for today. I don't know what the rest of it is other than this out here needs to get... At least where I'm trying to walk needs to get scraped because it's kind of hard to walk. Well, there's a bright spot out there now. A couple hours ago, the National Weather Service issued a high wind warning. Yay! Ties in getting her rain gear and stuff on. She's going to go ahead and get the feed barn clean. We discussed it about maybe wait until tomorrow, but I don't think there's enough feed in there to get them by until tomorrow, and we're going to put straw bales in. So I would much rather have the... Yeah, hope my camera didn't just flip. I would much rather have uh, a little bit of hay and a couple of feeders and I put the straw in. It gives them some good stuff they can still get to. Found me some switch boxes, bug boxes, so I'm going to see if I get some wire around. But i got to find my wire spool. Got one I made like 30 years ago. Slip a roll of Romex on and go. I got a full roll of Romex in the barn. I know where it is. I just don't know where the spool is at the moment. And if you ever unrolled Romex without a spool, you'll know why I want to use the spool. But I'm going to try to try to get that done. And because I got to get rather than an extension cord to that camera under the deck. And rather than the extension cord to the one over by the two year olds. I want to actually go wire run and plug those in as you stare at the saw. Um, yeah, I can do that while she's messed around in the feed barn. She's looking forward to a day of high wind. You know, no warning about yesterday, so you know, given a warning today, maybe that means it's going to be worse. I don't know. She's cruising right along. I mean, I know there's some in the feed barn she didn't get because we didn't move the feeders all out, but she's on her last scoop here in this pen, I think. 
I ain't got a whole lot done while she's been doing that. Other than I got the wire from that camera. Run over this far. Got a box here. And this was covered, but wood grain going this way, that got broke a long time ago, so that's the rest of the piece I used for the base for that camera tree, monitor tree. Fits in there perfectly, the way it was intended to do, except for right here. But I don't think anybody's gonna drop a cell phone down that hole. I probably should do something there. But anyway, I found my wire roller, unroller, there's the base. Here it is. It only had about, I don't know, 18 feet of wire on it, which isn't going to get me anywhere. So there's a new roll. And uh, I made this 30 some years ago, I guess. Put her together. Sorry, I'd show you, but I'm having a hard time. Ah, anyway, clip goes in. Then it sets on there and there's two clips one on each end to hold it in. It's a little noisy, a little sloppy, but it works good. A whole lot better than trying to unroll that by hand and straighten it out. I'll show you over there in a minute. I came over here to figure what I was doing and this cord was plugged in there where the radio is plugged in. Except instead of dropping to the ground and going down, it came right across here and over the top of that reel and it was pulled tight. Had this camera down here hooked to it. Luckily the camera plug unplugged here. I got the other laying up there that's got the plug-in on it. And the plug-in for it was laying there and that cord was laying out there. And about the end I don't know, eight or ten feet full of shit. I don't see any bite marks in it. And I don't see one standing here still within its mouth. Frickin' little troublemakers they are. Aren't ya? Yeah, just little frickin' troublemakers. And the old lady, she's up here chilling. So, I'm just gonna leave it there tonight. I ain't gonna worry about it. My mother decided I have to go feed for her tonight, too, so... Because she's waiting for the furnace man, who... You know, last I knew, he kind of wanted to know, or should know, what the furnace did when the power was out and we had the generator running. But, you know, I guess you don't need that information. Well, while I'm down here, I'll show you this, too. Right there's where I'm going to put this plug protected it's low enough that the short people around here can reach it i think well yeah i know it's plenty long for running the hair dryer for that thing and i mean the nice thing is the cords for these they give you so much right there i mean that'll make it almost over here to the post and then the other half has just about as much so plenty of wire to make it Oh, okay, on to the rest of the fun here. I'm going to grab that on my way by. And that's all the wire that was on that spool. And it's sitting there because tomorrow, easiest thing to do is I'm going to get into that junction box up there. Come across and follow that yellow wire that goes to the lights. Down the post, underneath the deck, and go out the back side to get to that plug-in. Then that'll be done. Look at that. I made it dark for you. And over here, I had way too much fun. Way, way too much fun. But this cord's laying here. Just because I haven't picked it up yet. See the cord for the camera. I run it underneath that big conduit. Dropped it right here. And that, of course, you know, follows the conduit, goes to the top and all the way across and back down the next one. The bad thing is, my dad was never one for leaving much wire in a box. And I didn't used to. 
that wire I could barely get the plug out far enough to take the wires off then I got to messing around and well the plug was broke when I was almost done getting it hooked up I already threw it in the garbage so I guess I can't show it to you it was missing a chunk in here and look at it this way and it had a bow to it like that ain't supposed to be that way so I replaced it and in doing so I ended up having to get some wire nuts and I just shortened everything up made pigtails long enough to work so that's done the camera should be showing something in the trailer because it's got power to it now I'm going to put this stuff away go let the cows in and go feed the back barn the mass introduce I guess I ain't exiting, they're going in. Enter this? I don't know. Come on, girls, keep moving. Time missed the spot. Yeah, still make me walk through it. I figured. You better see how good she did. It's not easy doing it when you can't move all the feeders out of the way. They all think this bale's going to be the good one because they know the first two weren't, right? Uh, what to get and boom on good lights and the camera hey, pretty cool lights and camera at the same time now that it's raining again we actually had a couple good hours today that it didn't rain we'll give these guys something to eat in the dark because I'm not going to go to the other end and turn the lights on just to come back to this end because I haven't got steps made for the other end yet so with that I will let you go there hi Bam what do you think Bam? think bud? huh? and Dino Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great Tuesday.